Howdy, I'm Chef Nancy and welcome to Family Friendly Foods. Today's show, we're gonna cook with vegetables and I guarantee you, you're gonna love it. Well, here we are. We're going to do all kinds of vegetable things mm. today. And Kirby, I'm going to ask you to yeah. cut the potatoes up. Put me to work. We're going to roast the potatoes. And when we roast them, we're going to roast some garlic and some onion. Okay. Now you can do this on the grill too, but we're doing it in the oven. Okay. And you want to make sure that the potatoes are cut about the same size so they cook evenly. Okay. I can then, do that. While she's doing that, I'm going to cut some garlic to get it ready to roast. Now, what I'm going to do is I cut the bottom off the garlic, and I'm going to get a piece of oh, <laughs> foil. And I'm going to take the foil, and I want a little bit of oil on this. Ah. But I'm pouring it over the foil, so it'll be okay. Now, this is one of the few times I ever use seasoned salt because mm -hmm. you want to give stuff flavor. Right. And black pepper. And the reason I'm not using a pepper meal, I've got arthritis so bad, <laughs> I make a mess. So anyway, whatever, that's just me falling apart. Well, it's still going to taste good. <laughs> yeah. Now, I'm going to take this, and what I'm going to do after I... Got it all covered up there, folks. I'm going to punch some holes in it so the steam can get out. This is great. I love, love, love baked um, garlic like that, roasted garlic. So do I. I need it, but I've never really known how to do it, so this is... It's simple. Great. Now, what I'm going to do with the onion is I'm going to take it and peel it, and I'm cutting it in half this way okay. because it'll cook faster. I'll show you what I'm going to do. Come on. Peel! So I think I have all these potatoes just about cut up in okay, the same after size. After you get them cut, yes. put them in the bowl. Got and it. I want to get the core out of that onion. Parade. Mmm, starting to smell good in here. I, I love the smell of garlic and onions. I know. Well, garlic and onions are so good in anything. They're such a good aromatic and they give so much flavor to things. Now, if you do these in the oven the way we're doing them, that's fine. If you do them on the grill, mm -hmm. they get a smokier flavor. Ah. Pretty now, soon we'll be able to use the grill a lot. Oh, all the time. As long as it's not raining. Right. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this here. Sure thing. Sure thing, boss. <laughs> I'm going to cut the onion in three more slices. See how I'm doing it? I'm slicing it like this, so mm -hmm. when I take it off out of the oven, that will already be ready. Take apart and throw in what we're gonna do with it. Some more pepper? Peppa. Peppa and some more Lowry seasoned salt. Does yes. it have to be Lowry? Can it be, what do you, can it be anything? Or you like the seasoned salt best? I, I wanna use seasoned salt right now. Um, you can use the stuff with dried herbs mm -hmm. in that, but that's not what we're going to do because we're going to use fresh herbs later. Got it. And that's one of the things I'm going to talk to you all about, using fresh herbs at the end. If you use dried herbs, you use them in the beginning. Ah. So. All right. Poking a little steam holes again. Yes. Okay. Now. Yes. Here's your potatoes. Let's do this with a little oil. All right. Salt and pepper. I can remember these ingredients. They're very similar. <laughs> <laughs> Do I need a spoon? Now, I'm going to use my, as Sarah Moulton would say on the Food Channel, I like my Sarah impeccably clean hands. Yes. Yeah, Sarah Moulton's your height. Yes. She's tall. Very tall. What's she, about five foot one? Maybe. <laughs> Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take these and we're going to pour them. Now, I put parchment paper on this. Pour these in? Yeah, so I wouldn't have to clean it so much. I love parchment paper. It's changed my life. Now, I'm going to put these out. I'm going to put this, have you put this in the oven. Okay. 
and then we're going to put our garlic and onion in the oven. Fantastic. Okay. All right. Do you want me to open it up since your hands are all covered in oil? Exactly. Oil, Earl. Top, bottom shelf. Top. How long are these going in there for? Well, we're going to set the timer for about 20 minutes, and then we're going to check them. Okay, Kirby, the potatoes are done. It seems like it's been forever. I'm ready to start making these. I know. Now, what I've done is I've cut up some green onion mm -hmm. because green onions brighten things. And I use the whole green onion, not just the white part or not just the uh, green part. Now, I'm going to get this out of the oven. You know, I think a really good potato salad is one of the staples of summer. Oh, I agree. But not all potato salads are really good, so I'm going to be excited, excited to see how you well, make this. Well, now it... you can do this on the grill, too. Okay. Now what we're going to do... You don't need those. That's been in there for a while. Let right, me just leave it here. Sit that down. Okay. And this dressing I'm going to make is going to be the... Is that going to be the topper? That's going to be the topper. Again, you can do the potatoes on the grill. And you do them the same way. You oil them, salt and pepper. Now we've got the potatoes. I'm going to add the green onion, and I don't need all this green onion. I got a little carried away. Okay. So we're not going to use it all. About a half a bunch, you think, for this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now mm, I've got what, some of the garlic. What we've been waiting for. All right. Now what we're going to do with this? Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. Is it soft? May I touch it? Yeah, it is. Soft and hot. How long do you think it was in the oven? Just because... Um, usually, you start 20 minutes. Now, Another I would part. have normally done this on the grill 20 to 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. You've got to remember you have carryover cooking. So you can take it out and it'll keep cooking okay. for about another five minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my salad dressing. Okay. This is one of my favorite things. I can't wait to see now, how you do Now, what this. I would like yes. is if you would chiffonade some basil. Chiffonade some basil? Yes. And here's what, what you're going to do. <laughs> chiffonade. Oh. You're going to take your basil leaves uh -huh. and you're going to stack them. Okay? Stack okay. them. I get the mayonnaise. Chiffonade some basil leaves. Yeah. Is that how you say it? Uh-huh. Stack them up. Got and it. I'm going to show you what you're going to do. Am I, am I going to saw? All right. Now, after you stack them, you're going to roll them. Oh. I know that you've rolled herbs before. <clears throat> then you're going to hold Not it. Me. Hold it, and you're going to do a real thin me. slice. Okay? Yes. Then while you're doing that, I'm going to take Chiffonade. some sour cream. And just a little bit of mayonnaise for a little bit of that kick. What was the name of this show again? Family Friendly, Friendly Foods. Foods. Brought to you by Value Market. I just want to make sure you remember that. Yes. Now what's next? <laughs> I want to squeeze out some garlic. <laughs> and, oh, man, that's hot. Got well, that's one. what you get. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Ooh-wee, it's hot. <laughs> Want me to hold it? No, it's... I have tough on hands. I do, too, but... All right, one, two... I've chiffonaded this. All right, we're going to put that in this dressing here in just a second. Although I only chiffonaded it <laughs> in the roll. Do I need right. to go back no, to make no, it smaller? No, no, okay. we want it like that. Now, I'm mashing this garlic mm -hmm. in here. <gasps> yeah, buddy. Mm -hmm. Do you need a little bit more garlic? Here's one just sitting here. As long as it doesn't have the paper on it. I'm using about one-third mayonnaise to two-thirds. Sour cream? Sour cream. And you put as much roasted garlic in it as you want. Okay? Okay. Now, we're going to put that chiffonade basil in here. Here we go. Boy, you get dramatic. It's now, a dramatic word. We're going to use a little white pepper. White pepper. Why, why white pepper? Well, because the black pepper looked like it had bugs in it. Oh, so it's just about the color. There's yeah. no difference in taste. What basically, well, no, white pepper's a little hotter. Ooh. <laughs> a little the hotter it is. The deal with the white pepper is 
if you take black pepper, mm -hmm. okay, you can see, well, it's, you can't see on this cutting board, but there's white pepper inside the black pepper. It's basically the black pepper without the core. Now, I'm going to stir this up. Oh, gosh, this smells good. Just then, over here. yes, a tinge of salt. A tinge of salt. You can always add more, right. but don't you can't take it out. That's no, true. And a lot of people don't do salt. But we already salt and peppered the potatoes now. If you use a lot of herbs, that can kind of take the place of salt in a lot of places, it right? It can. Well, mm -hmm. that's what Ms. Dash is. Yes. Oh, Ms. Dash. How's that? Mm. Now, okay, so we've already put our onions in. I have onions. Now, the potatoes are still a little warm, mm -hmm. which means they're going to soak this up some. And that's a good thing or a bad thing? Good thing. Okay. It's like when I grill the vegetables, I put them in what I want them to taste like afterwards, not before. All right. This is our potato salad. And I'll be honest with you. Yes, please be. I don't think there's enough garlic in there. I'm sure there isn't. Yeah, if you will stir it. And I always teach the kids to stir it from the bottom up. The um, kids at Family Scholar House? Our Home of the Innocents. A lot of those places, because what happens is, even, uh, I even do this in the uh, public schools in Jeffersonville. But the deal is, some people don't like garlic. I, I'm very sad for them. Yeah, I am too. And you know what? You and I are eating this, and we both like garlic. <laughs> so, All right, so there we go. There's our potato salad. Now, mm. I think that um, I'm going to take a piece of potato out. Okay. I'm going to cut it in half. All right. I'm hoping we're going to taste it. Yes. And would you put it on the platter for me? This? Yes. I'll plate it, as they say. Plate it up. As it sits, it'll get more of a garlic flavor. May I taste this? Mm-hmm. It doesn't have a lot of garlic flavor right now. It's going to get good, though. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 That's a good potato salad. It's excellent day. Very nice. Okay. One thing left to do today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to grill. Let's go grill. Grill, grill, grill. Okay, now we're going to grill some vegetables, and because of the inclement weather, we're going to do it inside on a grill pan. Good. Now, I have a cast iron grill pan, and I love that. Good. I just got one of those. Oh. Are you really not supposed to wash them with soap? Well, you shouldn't. Okay. I just want to check in with you because um, you're the expert. What I'm going to do first is make the dressing. Now, I'm going to make, and I've made this before years ago, it's a Lebanese dressing. Okay. And I'm going to peel this piece of garlic. Do you think you remember the uh, recipe? Oh, God. I make this once a week. Okay. I want to put my garlic in the bottom with a little bit of salt. Easy. And I'm going to zoom it. Got the garlic cut up. Now, one of the things I want you to do while I'm making this is chiffonade the rest of that basil. Fantastic. I look forward to it. Shh, she's a smart Alec. Now, Lebanese dressing is equal parts lemon juice and oil. I've got fresh vegetables, and I want to taste the vegetable, not the olive oil. If you want to use olive oil, go ahead. Now, the vegetables, they came from Value Market, and in the summer, they even have a truck, and they go to farms to find stuff. Do they really? Yeah. They're really Kentucky proud. All right, now I've got equal parts lemon juice and oil and one clove of garlic, and I'm doing maybe a half a cup here. You can use anywhere from one to three cloves of garlic, depending on you. <laughs> it's made. Wow. Now, it won't stay emulsified, <laughs> but it's made. All right. Now, what we're going to do is go on and put that in here. The chiffonade? Yes. The chiffonade basil? And I may have to zoom it again, and it might turn a little green, but that's all right. That's all right. Now, I'm going to ask you to peel the carrot. All right. And I'm going to cut the squash and zucchini. 
And I'm just doing a little bit. Now, I was going to grill the tomato, too, but since I'm in a grill pan, it makes too much of a mess. This is, okay, got it going. This is a pretty dull peeler. Honey, <laughs> watch this. Watch this. And once again, I got her to do it for me. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm going to cut stuff at an angle so it looks bigger. Or she quit. What? I don't know. I don't look, look, darling. Look, look. See how easy that is? Yes. Oh, I had the blade turned the wrong way. It happens to me a lot with knives too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is. You just never know. Lovely. I do have a question for you. Why did you do the the garlic and the salt by themselves in the food processor? So it would get all mixed up good, okay. and the garlic could get all crushed. And then you added the other ingredients. Right. Okay. Now, you see how I'm cutting this at an angle? I do, yes. That's what I'd like for you to do with the carrots. You are asking a lot, but I'll do it. It's just like cutting French bread. Oh, okay. Okay? And remember, you want to saw. Saw. See? Saw. Okay. I'll be over here sawing. Here, Kirby. Mm-hmm. It's a half hour show. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the one thing I like is Kirby. <laughs> Kirby has a great attitude. Oh, I learned so much cooking with you, Chef Nancy. Uh-huh. I'll practice that at home so our next show I'm faster. Uh-huh. I, I got a big picture of that. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to turn the grill pan on. Got it. Get it hot. Mm-hmm. What I'm going to do is go on and oil these, and I've got a pan right over there. This one? Yes. And we're going to put this stuff in the pan. And on another show, when we're grilling outside, I'll show you all how to grill tomatoes. You and I have grilled some things before that were very good. They're and tasty, tasty. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is do a little bit of oil. I can't remember what it was, but I do remember I we dropped, it, dropped it on the floor, on the ground. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. You did, didn't you? Uh-huh. Maybe it was cabbage. All right, so now we need something to mix this up with? Well, yes. Oh, and Lowry's seasoned salt? A little bit more Lowry's. seasoned salt. Lowry's. So just seasoned salt. And pepper. Pepper? Here, I put it over here. Oh. Thank you, madam. You're welcome. The reason I'm not putting the Lebanese dressing on it now is because I don't need it on there now. What I want now is just to get it on the grill and get it going yummy, yummy good. It's getting hot. It is getting hot. Yeah, buddy. It's going to be sizzling in a minute. So the oil is on the vegetables, not on the pan. And you could spray the pan before you turn okay. it on. All right. But my pan seasoned fairly well. All right, now I'm going to put it my vegetables in the grill pan. Mm -hmm. You can hear it sizzling. Now, outside they'll get a smoky flavor. Inside, they won't get so much of a smoky flavor. But that's all right. And while they're going on the grill, remember earlier I cooked some onion? Yeah, oh yeah, I forgot about the onion. Well, here it is, ready to go. Ooh. And look at that onion juice. So we're going to take this whole thing juice and all, and put it in there. And flip it around? Can you do that? Whoa. Let me shot, give it a shot. Give it to him. <laughs> Thank you. I'll just you step, me laugh. I'll just step no, out of the I can't do I'll it. I'll just step out of the shot. And what's happening is, this onion's still warm, so it's cooking the tomato. Ah. Now, I'm going to use some of my Lebanese dressing, which you can see has started to separate. Yeah. Mmm, I can't wait to taste that. Now, I'm going to put some of this in here. Mm-hmm. And as the vegetables mm. come off, we're going to put them in here. And as they start to cool, they'll soak it up. How do we know when these vegetables are about done? We just find When they're look. marked. Yeah. Uh, because we have carryover cooking. You have to remember, 
and we want them to have a little bit of crunch to them still. I don't know if anybody ever does carrots on the grill, but it makes them really sweet. They're yummy. So we've got carrots, zucchini, and yellow squash in this? Right. Okay. And, the, and we've got the tomatoes and the onions. Mm -hmm. So while this is cooking, why don't you and I do some dishes? I think that's a great idea. I love doing dishes more than just about eating. Okay, now we've got our grilled vegetables. Mm, oh great. gosh, and they're cooling off in the Lebanese dressing. And as you'll see, it got nice and juicy mm -hmm. with the... Onions are nice and soft. Oh, everything is lovely. So what I'm going to do, I thought maybe I might need to put some of this dressing on the rice, mm -hmm. but I don't think so. There's a lot in here. Well, look at all that. Yeah, I'm so, there's a lot in there, so you probably don't need so it. So here we go. Easy. And yet another amazing, simple, healthy recipe that I think my family will really enjoy. Look at that. And you can use whatever vegetables you want. These are my favorite to use for this because the color alone will get the kids to eat yes. it. And then it doesn't have vinegar. It's different. It's got that bright flavor. So there you go. Enjoy your veggies. Healthy eating.